Tesla's all new 2024 models are finally here. The lineup is complete and right now is the best time to buy a Tesla. Wait a second, at least that's what Tesla wants you to believe, but might not be entirely true because Tesla is secretly working on six big upgrades and changes that you need to know about right now. Big changes to the design of their vehicles, changes to the features, some pricing changes, new colors, and some other big discounts. Let me break down the current state of the Tesla lineup for 2024, the six big changes we should be seeing soon, and tell you why right now is both the best time and worst time to buy a new Tesla. Let me tell you the latest that we know and uh, the leaks and rumors you need to know about right now. And a big thanks to Anchor Solix for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let me start this video by giving the obvious disclaimer before I get roasted in the comments. If you wanna buy a Tesla right now, go ahead. And I say that with all sincerity, if you buy any model right now, you are going to absolutely love it. Tesla is making amazing vehicles, in my opinion, the best vehicles on the road right now in terms of design, feature set, autonomy, value. These cars are absolutely incredible. And if right now for you is the best time with pricing and incentives and features, if you're happy, by all means, go for it, buy a Tesla, you will love it. Though on the flip side to that, if you are doing your homework and wondering when the best time to buy a Tesla is, well, that's why this video is here because I've done all the digging into the leaks and rumors and what is coming next. And while right now is a good time to buy some models, some other models in the lineup are getting some huge changes. They're definitely gonna be worth waiting for. First though, let me just give some general Tesla buying advice. If you didn't know, Tesla typically doesn't really do discounts. They are sort of haggle free. The price you see on the website is the price you're going to pay. And there really is no timing the market, so to speak, when it comes to buying a Tesla because they don't typically do discounts. Though I will say there are a couple of things you can do to save some money. One, obviously, is to go into Tesla's existing inventory. Usually there are discounts to be had on cars that are made ready to go. And then also, generally speaking, the best time to buy a Tesla is going to be near the end of the quarter because Tesla is trying to deliver as many vehicles as possible. They'll usually throw out some additional freebies and incentives to get people to take delivery before the end of a particular month. This can be sometimes free supercharging miles. It can be a uh, free full self-driving, or in some cases it can be like free discounts, like cash discounts on your vehicle. So if you're looking for the best time to buy, it's usually the end of a quarter. And also I always recommend going through a referral link because it costs you nothing and usually gets you some freebies. Like I think it's free full self-driving right now. So always do that before you order because if you try to do it after the fact, um, it's really tricky and usually doesn't work. So do it, it costs you nothing. All right, next I wanna spend some time breaking down each of the models in the lineup because there are some that are a great buy right now and many that I would certainly wait on purchasing. Let's start with the easy one and get that out of the way first and that is the Model 3 because this is a big fat buy. This is an amazing vehicle. Tesla just refreshed it and it is, dare I say, almost perfect and a really good value for the dollar. Really the only downside to this vehicle in the lineup is that it's ineligible for any of the federal tax credit here in the US. So there isn't that $7,500 discount you'd get on um, this vehicle as you'd see on the Model Y and other Teslas in the lineup. Though there of course are gonna be state and local incentives that are gonna vary on where you live. So be sure to check that to maximize your savings. But to bottom line here, it's an amazing car. The Model 3 is incredible. All the new creature comforts, all the new design. You've got an incredible car that you are going to love and there really isn't any reason to wait to buy one. In fact, right now we're seeing, especially in the United States, um, a delay in trying to get one. People are, have, have their order in for months and they're just trying to wait to get their deliveries. Uh, so get your order in as soon as you can as uh, you'll get in line for delivery for this vehicle. But yeah, no reason to wait to buy a Model 3. It's a great car by now this one is a total safe to buy next let's talk model s and model x now on the model s side tesla actually just introduced some brand new performance seats that look super cool on model s plaid and i believe any vehicle or i should say any model s plaid built after april 1st will have these all new plaid seats so if you're looking at model s plaid you just got a really nice upgrade that is going to be really nice but this is a bit of a controversial vehicle lineup right now because According to multiple sources, namely Tesla Scope, there is a bigger refresh coming to Model S and Model X. 
that was supposed to be here a couple of months ago and hasn't arrived yet, and we don't exactly know when it's coming. Basically, what we know is that Tesla is looking to make their Model S and Model X more of their higher end vehicles with higher end features like Cybertruck and I guess even some features from the new Model 3. That would be a front bumper camera and RGB ambient lighting. Those are two features among a host of other smaller features that should be coming to Model S and Model X, but it's hard to tell you when to buy because we just don't know when those uh, refreshes are coming. So I would put a caution symbol on this one. I would say that if you're looking at a Model S or Model X, I would definitely wait over the next couple of weeks to see what happens with these new features. But at the same time, I will say that we had heard that these models were getting refreshed like six months ago, like last fall, and that never happened. So it just depends how important these features are to you, but definitely know that these are on the horizon and imminently coming soon according to the rumors, but we just don't know when. The next thing you really need to know before you buy your EV, and what I really wish I knew before buying my EV, was how important power is to this whole situation. Obviously, one of the big benefits of owning an EV is you can easily plug in and charge at home, and it's also amazing to see just how far battery technology has come, and if you think about it, what if there was a way to use these amazing batteries, sort of the same technology we've got in our cars, to power our homes? If they can power our cars, can they also power all the stuff in our homes? The answer is yes to that, actually in a really amazing way, which I can share thanks to this video's sponsor, Anchor Solix. This, my friends, is the Anchor Solix X1, an incredibly innovative energy storage solution here to offer power for the extreme. So if you live somewhere with frequent power disruptions, or you just really want the peace of mind of sort of having having power independence for your home, you are going to absolutely love this because it is an amazing solution that is super innovative in so many ways. To start, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture here. Think of Anchor Solo X1 as sort of like a big battery bank for your home, for lack of a better word. It's gonna be able to power all of the devices in your home, even all your appliances, in the event of a power outage. It's got a built-in storm guard mode that will automatically detect outages and get your power solution prepared, and switching from grid power to battery power from the Anchor Solo X1 is like this. Literally happens in less than 20 milliseconds. You probably won't even notice it's happening and you'll go from grid power to your battery backup without you having to do or think about anything. It's really, really cool. And let me say this again, all of your appliances and devices are gonna be powered. Yes, even your AC and your washing machine will be powered off of the Anchor Solux X1. Your house will be fully functional with the rest of your neighborhood, sadly, in the dark. Personally, one of the things that I love about this system and I think is so cool is that the Anchor Solux X1 is packing a modular design. That means you can really customize it and build it out to sort of fit your power needs and you can expand later on without having to suffer any energy loss. So you can seamlessly mix these newer battery packs and these older battery packs with no problems here. Without suffering any energy loss, it usually comes from mixing new and old batteries. The system can easily scale to from five kilowatt hours to 180 kilowatt hours. And if by chance one battery was to fail, it does not affect the rest of the pack, thanks again to that really innovative modular design that'll automatically isolate the failed battery. And with that modularity also comes a sleek, slim, and very minimalist design that's easily going to match with your home's decor. It's going to fit right in with your home. It's going to look great, really offering both form and function and also coming in thinner than traditional home energy solutions. I really love and appreciate the design here. And I also really love you can manage all of this stuff, all the tech inside one app that is sort of the companion anchor app to this system. So if you're a data nerd like me and love to dive into the details here and look at the numbers, you can easily do that within this companion app and check all this stuff out in real time, which is really cool. Also speaking of sort of diving into the details here, I know many of you guys as well really appreciate that each battery module is equipped with an innovative energy optimizer that enables each battery to charge and discharge uh, independently to eliminate uh, capacity loss due to different statuses of capacities across the batteries, which provides up to 2,350 kilowatt hours more energy than similar products on the market and is gonna help you save on your electricity bill. And no matter the climate, they can achieve 100% power from negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. And what's really cool here is in colder temperatures, the built-in thermal boost technology enables the batteries to charge normally when other batteries stop working and the BMS is gonna adjust the battery working condition to up to 15% more attainable power while during the hot summer months, infinite power our technology allows Anchor Solux X1 to charge and discharge without derating. One of the other huge benefits of a system like this is that it can really sort of save you money. Not only are electrical grids and systems more
more spotty and unreliable than they've ever been before. But also electric crates are expensive around the world. Luckily, the Anchor Soul XX1 was sort of built with this in mind. It has three important modes you need to know about. There's a self-powered mode to maximize green energy use, a time of use mode that's going to charge your batteries while electric prices are low, and an NEM 3.0 mode that's going to sell electricity uh, as fast as possible while the price is high. Currently available for California residents. One of the other big benefits of the Anchor Solux X1 system is that it can seamlessly integrate with your EV as well, allowing you to save money by not having to pull energy from the grid because you can charge it from the battery itself, but also in the event of a power outage, you can still fully charge your EV. And Anchor Solux X1 can withstand rain and dust thanks to its IP65 design, and there's lots of peace of mind here with Anchor Solux X1, like a 10 year hassle free warranty, and if any maintenance is required, consumer have a peace of mind and can stay safe thanks to a zero volt battery port and the LIFEPO4 component that's going to prevent overheating and reduces the risk of fire. Simply put, if you're looking to finally get that energy independence from the grid and utilize some amazing cutting edge battery technology to really cut down on the worry about sort of blackouts to give you that peace of mind and also to potentially save you some money, the Anchor Solux X1 is definitely worth your time and attention and your your uh, research as you do your due diligence here because this is an amazing system I know so many of you guys are going to absolutely love. So are you ready to power for the extreme with the Anchor Solux X1 and take your home energy to the next level? Do not wait, sign up now through the link down below in the description and get a surprising offer you don't want to miss. It's packing so much amazing battery technology, so much built-in smarts, all in a sleek, minimal, modular design that will not be an eyesore by your home, but in fact be quite the opposite. I think it looks fantastic. It's going to be great for your home. Packing form, packing function. I think it's going to be amazing. So if you want to learn more about the Anchor Solux X1 and check out the solution for yourself today, which I highly recommend you do, hit the link down below in the description to learn more and check it out for yourself right now. Also thought I'd share a little bit more of my personal sort of tips for buying a Tesla as we sort of go through the lineup. Uh, one of them is full self-driving. Uh, with the recent price discount of the subscription, there really is no value right now in buying a full self-driving outright since you can subscribe to full self-driving, at least in North America, for $99 a month. So you could use it, cancel any time, the full package price doesn't really seem to make any sense, so I certainly would probably stay away from that right now. Also, be sure to have your charging situation figured out, as Tesla does not include a charger with the vehicle, again, at least here in the United States. Okay, next up, let's talk Cybertruck. What do you do if you wanna buy a Cybertruck right now? Well, there's not a whole lot you can actually do. Uh, basically, Tesla is working their way through the pre-order list at some random interval. We don't know how they're doing this and doing their deliveries through their list. And um, yeah, there's nothing you can do. Also, as of right now, Tesla is still on their foundation series. So this is a $20,000 premium over the models and lineup. So your $80,000 dual motor truck became $100,000. Triple motor cyber beast is $120,000. And that's not expected to be removed for probably at least a year or so. So so we're looking at at least a year until the $20,000 premium gets dropped and also a Cybertruck is probably more readily available to buy. So all you can do right now if you want a Cybertruck is put your pre-order in and then get enough referral credits to get $30,000 so when Tesla opens up the accelerated delivery again, you're able to sort of get your credits to be used to get your truck earlier. That's really all you can do. Cybertruck's sort of a shot in the dark. You can place your pre-order, but that's about all you can do right now. Then of course we get to one of the most exciting and most controversial parts of this video, and that is the Model Y. Tesla's Model Y is the most popular vehicle on the road right now. It's one of the best selling cars, if not the best selling car in the world. And if you wanna buy one right now, what do you do? This is where things get tricky. Let me say this and make it really clear. Model Y right now is an amazing car. Great versatility, great range, great design, great performance, it's great. And with the current incentives and pricing, it's also very attractive because you can get a Tesla for uh, certainly not as much as people think they are and save a good amount of money, especially with that $7,500 federal tax credit that you can take at the point of sale. That certainly makes it worth it. So if you are happy with the current offering and you think the price makes sense, buy now and be happy. With that said, if I was someone looking to buy a Model Y, and this is my general recommendation to my friends, family, everyone I know, 
I would wait because what is coming in the next 12 months with the Project Juniper Refresh, in my opinion, is certainly going to be worth waiting for. It's not just the exterior design changes that are going to make the Model Y look more premium and more updated and modern like that new Model 3, but it's all the creature comforts. It's the better acoustic glass. It's the heated and cooled seats in the front. You've got the rear display. You've got the improved sound system. You've got uh, a smoother suspension for a better ride. Basically, the Model Y refresh is going to fix a lot of the current issues with the Model Y, making it a better ride experience making it more comfortable, and just bringing the design up to a bit more of the modern 2024 aesthetic. The Model 3 looks so good, and Tesla just needs to bring that to the Model Y, which they're planning to do, but it's just not ready yet. Current rumors that we've heard sort of on the timeline is that we could see this being built first at Giga Shanghai sometime this summer, but a broader international release probably wouldn't be happening until the end of 2024, if not early 2025. So the biggest issue right now with Model Y is that it's an amazing car, but if you're looking to buy one, you're probably going to have to wait a, at least probably nine months to a year if you want the newest, latest, greatest refresh. If you don't care about that stuff, buy now and be happy. Also keep in mind that pricing will likely change a little bit, probably more expensive when the new model comes. But if you do uh, not want to have any buyer's remorse and you want to enjoy all the new features you can get, new Model Y coming relatively soon-ish. It's in the works right now, and in my opinion, is certainly worth waiting for. All right, guys, now is your turn. Let me know your thoughts down below to my buying advice. Are you looking to buy a Tesla? Do you have any questions? If you do, leave them down below. We can uh, sort of a hive mind this and answer any questions you may have. If you agree or disagree with my advice, let me know down below. Also, if you made it to the very end of the video, drop down below your tip to a potential Tesla buyer. Because a lot of people stumble across these videos in YouTube search or Google search. They are looking to buy their Tesla. For all my Tesla owners watching this, give your one piece of advice to a fellow new Tesla owner down below, and I'll pick someone randomly and do an Amazon gift card giveaway, uh, as I've had a lot of fun doing in these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. You're amazing. You're awesome. You guys rock. Thank you for your support. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you all in the next one.